Uh, we have heard from many Idahoans their frustration of trying to make a vaccine appointment. The limited availability of appointments has created a situation where individuals are making many attempts to schedule an appointment, which has led to overwhelmed phone lines and websites. The biggest issue, as we are all aware, is the supply of COVID-19 vaccine is not meeting the demand in Idaho and across the country. However, I understand the frustration with the current situation of finding an appointment. DHW teams are working on a statewide vaccine pre-registration solution. The main objective of this pre-registration solution is to give Idahoans one place to go to register that they are interested in getting vaccinated. Once registered, an enrolled COVID-19 vac vaccine provider will reach out to schedule an appointment when they're eligible to get vaccinated and the provider has appointments open. We expect to have this available in early March. Uh, and so briefly what it would do is it'd be a place statewide that somebody could go and I'll use myself as an example and say, my name is Dave Jepson and here's my information about how old I am and whether I have an underlying health condition and where I work, what type of uh, employment I, I do. Uh, obviously volunteer, they can share what they want to share. Uh, that would then go on a registration list. Um, so then let's say it's now we're at the point in the vaccination process where my age group is eligible or or whatever the case might be. Uh, that, that list would be available then to providers who when they have appointments available, they can come grab from that list and say, oh, here's some people in my zip code, county, state, you know, you know, public health district, whatever criteria they're using. Uh, to then reach out to Dave Jepson and schedule that appointment. So it's really meant to be a place where citizens can go and say, I'm interested in getting vaccinated. Uh, and then when it's their turn, and when a provider that's near them has an appointment, that, that provider will reach out and schedule them for their appointment. And they can still check on their provider's website or call if they want to. So we're not uh, prohibiting that or not trying to stop that. But we're, what we are trying to do is provide a method that if they don't want to have to check every day, that they know they can know they're on a list and that they can know when it's uh, appointments available and it's their turn. Well, certainly we want to avoid double booking. Um, and we, we have asked and will continue to ask if, if you as an individual know that you have two appointments to please only keep one, cancel one so you can free it up for other folks. But if we have to choose between uh, people going to uh, websites over and over, the thousands, tens of thousands of people going to websites and phone lines over and over and over every day, uh, versus taking some risk on double booking. We'd rather take the double booking risk and make it easier for folks to schedule. And then we're just going to ask individuals that if you know you have two appointments, please cancel one so that can free up for other folks and do that as soon as possible so that others that are in line can, can get the uh, ability to get vaccinated.